Hey guys, it's Uncle Jonah here. Welcome, uh, welcome back to this voyage of uh, drinking beer and discovering new things. Um, we've got quite a special one uh, tonight. So uh, we've got a candle in the background and a place in the. No, I'm only joking. Um, yeah, this this beer is special because uh, not only is it a Belgian beer, which I I like the Belgian beers, but it was a swap that I did with my boss. Um, yeah, or soon to be ex-boss, but. Thank you very much, Dean. Uh, this is the one that you gave me, and I swapped it for one of those ludicrous banana beers. So, yeah, you better try that one. <laughs> anyway, this is the beer that we are having tonight. It's, uh, if it will focus, Cuvée de Troll, but I quite like the, uh, the picture of this little dude, which is kind of funky as anything. Come on. I don't like the way my camera does not want to focus ever. There he is. Ooh. Um, yeah, Cuvée de Troll. There we go. That's a nice focus. Uh, beer, beer, beer. Uh, cerveza, cerveza. Beer, doppa, malto. Multi beer. But yeah, let's have a look at that guy. Uh, he's quite funky, isn't he? Little, little sort of troll. Uh, Cuvée de Trolls. Anyway, um, it is from uh, Dubesson or House Dubesson, however they say it in Belgium. It is a 7% beer. And if you are pregnant, it says you cannot drink this beer because you will die. Um, the interesting thing about this beer and the ingredients, um, which I did already look at, was that... It says it contains sugar, because as we know, the Belgians are not afraid um, of adding some adjuncts to their beer. Is it going to focus? Hopefully it will. No. Oh, there we go. Cuvée, Cuvée de Troll. So I'm going to, yeah, there's that little dude again. So I'm going to keep that cap, or try and keep it as intact as I can. The only downside is it's only a 25, it's a 25 centimetre, which is crazy. So let me try and pry it off very carefully. I've degassed this already, that's why there wasn't a hiss because I didn't want it to explode. We have the lovely lady bottle opener, which is uh, one of my favourites. And we have a very odd glass which is actually a whiskey glass, but I thought I'd give it a go because it's slightly smaller capacity. Um, so I thought that might be good for this type of beer. But I should have known better because that head, we're getting a huge amount of head. Anyway, never mind. That will give me more to drink later on, which is always cool. Let's put in by, there we go. Cuvée de Troll. So, as it's a Belgian beer, it is reasonably naturally hazy. Um, for you guys, it's probably a lot hazier, but I can definitely see through it. And it's very well carbonated, as you can see. Okay, this is not going to be that accurate because the glass is slightly different. Um, but it's two fingers, two and a half fingers head. Yep, and we're getting that Belgium kind of Belgium yeast special kind of character, which for this beer is kind of more more banana than clove, which I like. I like I like the banana beers. Um, so that's ironic because um, obviously I swapped this for a ludicrous banana beer. Yeah, it smells very clean and crisp though. Right, let's get in there. My plan was to try and pour half of this beer, drink this half, and then pour that half in, um, and it's gonna be a lot more cloudy. Um, <laughs> cheers and beers. Pinkies out, darlings. Oh, yeah. Because of such a head, I'm getting that, um, yeah, that kind of uh, 
carbonation thing going on on your tongue, but followed nicely by, yeah, that banana, a little bit of clove, maybe, maybe a touch of kind of apple-y stuff. Sorry, my cats are fighting in the background. They're always fighting, itchy and scratchy. Now, this is interesting because this is a 7% beer. Um, and usually you might think that you'd get some alcohol. Um, but like many kind of beers of this kind of style, you're getting it on the, on the exhalation of breath. Um, and not so much on the taste. I mean, okay, 7% isn't the strongest beer I've had lately, but, you know. It's got that kind of weird bitterness thing going on. Um, and uh, yeah, we're definitely getting a little bit of hoppiness, but not very much. This is very much in the kind of, I mean, they call it a, an ale or a beer kind of, it's not a lager as such, but I would kind of put it in the kind of lager category. Right. Let me try and get this right. Oh dear, the other thing is I'm kind of, don't want to get too much of that head going, which I kind of have done. So let's try and get the beer out. Leave the head as much as possible in the bottle. Okay, well that first pour wasn't as bad as I thought. Mm. Got a bit of head left in there. Give me a tiny bit of beer for later on to play with, which is always good. There we go. Troll can play with the um, play with a candle. Kids, don't play with candles. That's Uncle John has said so. All right, don't do it. Um, very much hazy here. So technically, this this one should. Boys, I'm trying to do a film. Please. Um, this is going to be more yeasty, I think. Yeah. I love, I love Belgium yeast. You know, they, they do crazy things with yeast. Um, and a lot of it are strains that have been literally come from the ceiling and stuff. It, okay, this is an isolated one. This is not a Lambic beer by any means. But it's weird that not many other kind of countries or beer styles play with yeast as much as the Belgians do, which makes them unique in their brewing, which I, I quite like. Um, yeah, that is not too bad at all. 7% beer, I wouldn't have thought it was. Um, very small bottle. You could almost think that this was a 33, but it isn't. It's a 25, which is kind of crazy. Let's see if we can focus on the little dude again. Dun, da, da. Looks like he's kind of riding, riding a horse or something like that. There he is. Wow, look at those evil eyes. <laughs> that troll is out to get you. Would you say that's a troll? I think it's more of a kind of pixie. Oh, there's some trolls in the background though. Look at those evil looking dudes. Jesus, they're kind of chasing him all about and stuff. Um, and he seems to be wearing a hop cone as a hat. Um, crazy mofo. <laughs> anyway, guys, this was always going to be a reasonably quick video. So thank you for watching. Please click like and subscribe down below if you want to see more of my videos. Um, hear more of my cats fighting and that kind of thing. Cheers and beers, guys. We'll see you on the next.